Hey, what's up, guys? It's <clears throat> Chris here, and I'm, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get the correct answer from my math lab. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and uh, log on to our account for my math lab. I'm already logged on. Um, my stat lab is the same thing as my math lab, but just for a different class. Alright, so let's go ahead and pick a section I have not done yet. Let's try 9.1. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and click the question. As you can see, there's multiple parts, so that'll be good for showing you guys. Okay, so you guys are going to first off save the question that you guys are working on. Go ahead and open it back up. Okay, and then at this point, you're going to disconnect your internet. For me, it's easy because I have an airplane mode, so I can go ahead and click that. But for others, you might have to physically take the internet cord out. Okay, so you're going to go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and put airplane mode that disconnects the internet. Go ahead and type in a random number, even a letter, okay? And keep clicking check answer until you get the correct answer. So you're going to go ahead and write that down. So that's 399. You're going to move on to the next question. Check answer, check answer. 423. Perfect. Okay, and after you're done with the problem, this is going to come up communication error. What you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and click try later. Click close. Oops. Close this window out. And turn your internet back on. Okay, so my internet's back on. I was on question 13. Alright, so now that you have your question back up, you're going to type in the answer that you originally wrote down. Sorry about that. So you're going to type in the na answer. Well done, perfect. Four, two, three. Perfect, so I got both questions right. Go ahead and save it. And just to prove it to you guys, I'm going to do it one more time. So open up the question. It is, it is kind of repetitive. But if you guys do want that 100%, um, this is probably the easiest way to do it. There really is no answer key that you can find online or whatever. The teachers make up the questions or they choose what they want. Okay, so go ahead and save it. Open up the question again. Okay, type, oop, turn off your internet. Perfect. Type in a random answer. Check answer. Okay, two two zero nine. Okay, try later. Close it. Turn your internet back on, and then reopen that question. Okay, two two zero nine. Fantastic. All right, so I got all those answers correct. And it, it is time consuming again, but I mean, this is what I've been doing for basically all my assignments, as you can see. 100%, 100%, 100%. 100%. Easy on the homework if you do it like this. Um, or if you guys rather do it last minute, but hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll definitely be putting up more tutorials and other random things. Alright, guys, thank you.